ask that you would, I believe it's on uh, pray, uh, page 83. Pray that for, pray for me, yeah. Father Richard, softly as we turn our souls and our hearts and our minds and think on his goodness. Yes. All that he's done for us. Thank you, God. I thank you. It's been a good time this, yeah. this, this, yeah. this year. Yeah. We just want to say thank you, God. 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 Because you've been so good to yes. us. Yes. Oh, thou. In whose presence our souls take delight. On whom we in afflictions we call. Comforts by day and our thoughts by night. Yes. Our comfort, our, yes. our hope, and our soul, and our salvation, yes. our all. Yes. yes. We just come to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We pray, dear Lord, that look down, that you will look down upon this waiting congregations this morning, dear Lord. As we think back over the year, as we stand on the threshold of 2022, and we look forward to 2023. But when we look back, Lord, and we think about what you have brought us through, sometimes up and sometimes down. Yes. And sometimes, dear Lord, we've been even to the ground. Some of us, Lord, have been through sickness. Yes. We've been through trials and tribulations. We pray, dear Lord, that in our memories, dear God, where we think back of those throughout this, this year, that you saw fit to take those from our memories this this one this year, the Lord. Some of us have lost mothers. Some of us have lost fathers, yes. friends. Yes. But when we think about dear God, where they are, yes, Lord. Uh -huh. it's all right. They're in your presence, yes. 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 and that takes away the pain. Yes. Because we know that you have completed your promise to each and every, life, every one of us, dear Lord. Because you have promised to prepare a place for us. And we just want to say thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, you have provided us with food. Yes. You have provided us with shelter. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. You have provided with us with loved ones. Loved ones yes. Thank you, Lord. To hold and to love us. And we just say thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for us. Yes. 
and that could you continue to be God and God all by yourself. They say that you sit high and you look low. And you know all that we're going through. And we pray, dear Lord, that you will continue to watch upon us as we journey into 2023. None of us knows what stands before us, dear Lord. But we know, dear God, that you got it all in your hands. Yes. Because just like Job says, the wicked shall cease from trouble, and the weary shall be at rest. And we know, dear Lord, that you are our God and yes, our Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We couldn't do anything without you, Lord. Dear Lord, we want to thank you, God, for the first family of this house. Yes, God. Our pastor is Queenie White. We ask that God that you will give them what they are standing in for, in need of, for this upcoming year, then. in their personal lives, yes, God. and in their church lives, yes, and what they have, you have set on their minds to do for this house of science. Yes, yes, we had to ask the Lord that you will. We have each and every one of us, dear God, that we, we resolve to take on more of you in 2023. We don't know what tomorrow holds. But Lord, we just pray that you will continue to watch over us. And bless us, dear God. Dear Lord, we ask that you will bless this house it's called Shiloh, dear Lord. She's been on us hill and off on the road for a long, long time. And we know, dear God, that you will continue to hold her in the palm of your hand. And all of those who are gathered here continue to hold us, dear Lord. And we just ask, dear Lord, right now that you will come into the very midst of this service this morning. Yes, God. That you bless the preacher of the hour. Yes, God. Give him a few. A, a, a ram, ram of word, dear God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Continue to watch us, dear God, yes, and hold us. Yes, Lord. Dear Lord, we got so much that we want to say. But Lord, we know that you know our hearts. We ask right now that you would hear our hearts, dear God. Because you know, we know that you look upon, upon each and every one's heart, dear Lord. For our thoughts are in our hearts. And so we just want to say thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you, God. I will be reading our morning scripture. It will come from Psalms, the 16th chapter, verses 
5 to 10. It's Psalms, the 16th chapter, verses 5 through 10. And the word of God is as follows. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance, and of my cup thou manifested my life. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who have given me counsel. My reigns also instruct me in the night season. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in peace. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell. Thank you, God. Neither will thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Thank you.
William and can't forget, we must not forget, we should not forget. How can we forget? For all the goodness and mercy, how can we forget? Where his grace is, which forgiveness, how can we forget? Where the reconciliation, how can we forget? Where all the love yeah. comes from. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was all right. We'll let those two songs act like some out of him because if you, if you know where he's taking us today, right. you won't be surprised with those two songs that we can't forget where we've come from. Oh, how far right. he's brought us, how he has led us, how he has provided right. for us, how he has led in a well knowing, how he's been a highway in a wilderness. Oh, we cannot forget Amen. how far he's brought us yes. from. Amen. Even when we didn't deserve to be born. Yes. We were too tired to stand, he carried us. Yes. We cannot forget. Amen. How he works, how he moves, yeah. and how through us we have been. Let us pray, dear Prince Father. On this day, at this hour, we come to worship you and spend in the truth. But Lord, we can't do anything without you. So come by here, Heavenly Father. Come by here, Holy Spirit. Come by here, Holy Spirit. Come by here Heavenly Dove. It is we who yeah. need you today. Thank you. Thank you. For giving us your safety. Thank you, Lord. For, for lifting up far just a little bit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For a smooth travel. Because yes. many of us know it wasn't the drive that took a long time to get here. Many of us know it took 360 something days yes. to get thank here. You. Yes. And for that, we thank say you. Thank, you. thank you. Lord, we cannot make it without you. So we know that there's a word from you, so minimize this vessel and maximize what you have to say. Slow down tongues that the words of this mouth and the message of this heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord. Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. Lead us and guide us along the way. Yeah. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God say together, Amen. 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 Four with two. F O R W I T H two O four with two. That today we come to prepare ourselves for a new year. Yes, yeah. Whether we want it or not, twenty twenty two is about to go away. And twenty twenty three is coming in. For some of us, we're happy. For some of us, we're apprehensive. Because we still can't believe that this time last year we were still in the house, yeah. trying to wonder what this next thing is going to be. We've been through um, a lot of stuff yes, between know. AIDS and cancer and, and things that we thought would go away just for some reason will not go away. Yeah. So we're coming to this, we came into 22 with expectations, yes. uh, prayerfully with the new leadership in the new year that things would change yeah. and, and now seeing over 200,000 people still dying from COVID, yes. uh, that, at least that's not gone anywhere. Yeah. And we come to the realization that there sometimes happens to be this thing that we call a new normal. Yeah. That we have to adjust and we have to adapt. Even though we serve an unchanging God, a God who knows all, we as his people have to come to the realization that we have to put some things in place, prepare some things, and be cognizant of some things if we want to make it through. Wow. With his leadership and his guidance, with, yeah. with the education that he's given us, he does give some earthly things that help us to see our way through. Yeah. We've lost some people this year that we didn't want to lose. We've kept some people this year and we thank them for. Some of us have found out, yeah, we thank them, don't laugh, we thank them. Some of us have, have realized that we're mortal, that some things don't move the way they used to, that some things don't shift the way they used to. Sometimes we found out before, and sometimes we found out after. Well, you wake up the next day and say, oh, wait a minute, where did that come from? Some of us found out this year what our parents and grandparents said when they never thought they'd understand, I slept wrong. We were younger, we said, how can you sleep wrong? But now, oh, just a little bit of hours, and that year, you know, you can't sleep wrong. There have been wars and there have been rumors of wars that we never thought would happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People try to go back and just take stuff that's not theirs that we never we thought that type of thing and our life is over. Yeah. And just, just recently, uh, it seems like there's light at the end of the tunnel, but we have to remember, don't depend on man for the light. Yeah. 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 
And if the truth be told for some of us, some of us are saying that Kirk's car song, because halfway through the year, we almost let go. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't take it anymore. Um, our problems had us bound, and, and depression really weighed us down. I know we don't like to talk about that D word, because we love the Lord. He answers all things. But the truth be told, some of us need to recognize that depression really happens. I'm not saying prayer doesn't work. I'm saying depression sometimes affects things you never thought it would affect. I'll even, I, I'll, I'll even tell you that sometimes depression will even affect that much the same thing you call faith. Yeah. Yeah. Wondering, God, if you let this happen, you let me feel this way, and it seems like I can't get out, then what do I need you for? Sometimes in 2022, we get so heavy that we don't never think that lightness will come again because at some point we might not want to walk in the light. Because see, part of our challenge may be that when we're in a life, people see us and talk about us. So darkness seems pretty good sometimes. If I don't change, you won't expect anything from me so I can dwell in the place I've been in because I don't want to change. So if I start to change, expectation will come upon me that I don't want. So let's just claim it today and get it out of the way because we can't take this stuff into a new year. Right. And we're not the first ones. That's why we went to Psalms. I know we're looking at good, maybe something from Paul today or something, but we went to Psalms because there's somebody who knows what a bad man looks like. And someone who knows that, that, that every once in a while, the world doesn't care if you're down. They'll kick you anyway. It's someone who knows that, 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 that even though I think I'm coming out, I whip my hands up in praise. The devil can't wait for you to do it so you knock my hands down. Wow. David, David's been going through and when we came around this first um, set of songs, he was going through and he's coming out uh, of, of, a, of, a, of a song where he's talking about, it's not that I'm going through, what does a godly person look like? And even though I'm going through, I'm going to try to Make myself look like that. Mm. Don't, don't, don't you know, like, like, like this year, as you tried to shift, it, it, it seemed like it was getting worse, but God, I'm shifting now, so it should be getting better. I, I'm taking responsibility now, so it should be easier. I, I, you give me lessons to make me wiser, God, but there's some lessons I don't want to learn. Mm. So, 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 by the time we get to 16, um, I'm not saying David's going through identity crisis. No, he tells exactly who he is at this point. Wow. His challenge is he doesn't like what he's going through. Wow. Mm. But, 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 th but thanks be to God, um, in the middle of it, wow. he may not like what he's going through, mm. but he knew who was with him That's while it. he was going through. That's it. By the time we get to 16, and don't get me wrong, I know later, later, later songs, he went up and down a little bit, but, but, but at this point, um, he, he was realizing that, you know what, it was, it was pretty bad in 2022, but I'm realizing that I wouldn't have made it even this far if it wasn't for God. Right. It was pretty bad. I thought I wasn't going to make it, but, but somehow I was kept safe. It, it was pretty bad. I didn't know where this was going to come or where that was going to come. But somehow it was, it, it was a way for me to take refuge. And I'm not saying it was easy. There was no uh, green patches, no roses sometimes. But, but it wasn't really that bad. Uh, uh, God, uh, uh, you gave me some good stuff in the middle of my bad stuff. God, you gave me some hope in the middle of depression. You gave me that little spark in the middle of nothing I can see that's good here. You, you, you helped me and kept me while I was walking. And because uh, you did that, God, um, I can still delight in you. Uh, I, I wish 22 was better. I hoped. 22 was better. But when I look back over the year, it really just wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, I wish it was going to be different. But, but now I realize when I come to this last day of the year, you gave me some nuggets that I need to look back onto and hold on to that I'm going to go into this new year. Because 2022 was a year of preservation. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Uh, God, you preserved me all year. Uh, I'm not going to say it, was, it, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't real bad. 
I'm not going to say it wasn't uh, dangerous, but it wasn't God dangerous. I'm not going to say that, that it wasn't hard, but as we like to say, it wasn't hard, hard. Uh, I'm not saying it wasn't easy. But, 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 but this one thing I know that through it all, I, I, I've held on to my relationship with you. Oh, God, God, you are the highest, you're the greatest treasure I can have. So the, only, the, the one thing I can say I didn't give up, didn't get completely up on, is my relationship with you. I held on to you, God, to your unchanging hand. It was so hard sometimes, and I'm not going to say it's going to be perfect sometimes. But, but, but did you hold on to your relationship with him this year? Yes. And, and in that whole day, after that past uh, verse 1 with, 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 with David, did, did, did you uh, understand that he was your companion this year? Yes. yes. That through it all, you felt somebody walking with you and talking with you and whispering in your ears and going to be all right. Through it all, you were sad and you were lonely, wondering what was going to happen, but you had that feeling, that, that, that thing that kind of cut you. Through it all, no matter how bad it got, no matter where you turned your eyes, you knew it was somewhere there just being with you through it all. At just the right time, you got that friend that you needed to make it through. Oh, there's nothing like the friend we have Amen. in Jesus. Hallelujah. But it's not just to, to understand and look back at 2022. It was some good times. It was a bad time. But this is also a day that we look forward to 2023. Yes. And, 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 and I can submit to you, especially looking at what David was talking about, um, I can go into 2023 because I had a four, a with, and a two, in 2022. I can move and jump into 2023 as I look back over the years because I have a four, a with, and a two in 2022. See, we need to learn to build on what we've learned so far. We can't go to the next grade and get all we all, everything we learned in the last grade because that doesn't help anybody. You ever went from one point of math to another and you get upset because you're like, I kind of, wait a minute, I remember this, but this seems so hard because sometimes we missed our lesson from last year. Yeah. Some of us want to forget 2022, but please don't. Because there's some lessons that he gave you during the night time. There's some lessons he gave you during the hard times. There's things that, that he gave you when you didn't go the right direction that you need to learn. So you don't take that stuff into 2023. So I declare to you that we can go into 2023 because we had a four, a with, and a two in 2022. And no offense to, to Reverend, I said about Peter Peter on purpose, the uh, 11th verse of that song says, You have made known to me the path of life. Yeah, yeah. You will fill me with joy yeah. in your presence and with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Right. A four, a with, and a two. Yeah. I can make it in the 2023. See, uh, a God has a path for you. Yeah. See, he's made it known. Uh, to the angels, he made it known to, 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 every, to the Holy Spirit, and as you walk through life, he will make it known to you. Right. But see, here it is, uh, the path he has for you, if he told you to talk to Lord now, some of us wouldn't get on the path. Yeah. But I know he has a path for you. The same God that put the design and the order to nature, the same God who said, let there be light, the same God who said, there's going to be an Adam, there's going to be Eve, the same God who said, there'll be high prophets and different prophets, major and my the same God who gave the judges, the same God who told Israel, I know you, I know what you're going to do. The same God who understands every step we make, every move we take, he has a path for you. Yes. And, and that, that, that path, that, that awesome path, um, uh, nature has no choice yes. but to follow God's path. That's, That's right. right. That's right. I, I got it. I know. I'm going to share it right now. This is why. Um, I am not a fan of karma. Karma says that, you know, what goes around coming around. Karma says, you know, all that stuff. If you on karma's side, then how can you be on God's side? Uh, he knows what you're going to do. He's not going to stop you. He knows what you're going to do, but he's going to prepare you. He knows what you're going to do, and there's a providential plan to help you become stronger, wiser, and better. He knows what you're going to do, and so he's already put things in place to help you with your free will self. He'll never stop you, but he'll always help you. Yeah. 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 See, see, I know sometimes we jump off our path. I, I know. It's, it's okay. Woo -woo -woo. It, it's okay. But, but he does have a path for you. And as long as we see the path that he brought us through in 2022, yeah. we'll be willing to get on the path 
in 2023. God has a path for you. Now, now watch this. And it's good to have a path, God. It's good to understand. It's good to know that, that you do your best to order my steps. And I'm going to try to walk in the light, God. But I don't want to go by myself. But that's okay because God's presence is with you. Okay. Okay. See, see, his presence is this thing that fills me with joy. His presence is a thing that fills me with hope. His presence is a thing that fills me with peace. And when I don't feel like it, I don't want to smile, I don't want to get out of bed, his presence is a thing that gives me love. Yeah. Uh, uh, he sheds his light on my path by being the light. See, he makes provisions for my plan. He makes provisions for my salvation. He makes provisions for my walk. He makes provisions for my talk. Even though I don't do new mind sometimes, don't tell nobody. He makes provisions for, for everything. But how do, I, how do I know he does? Because he's always with me. He will never leave me or forsake me. He will always be there. When I'm right and when I'm wrong, he will still speak to me. Oh, I serve a God who speaks. Yeah. I serve a God that not only does he does a path for me, that his presence is always with me. When I think about the goodness of Jesus, yeah. being with me in all the days of my life, he's never left me. All I can do is say, hallelujah, God. I feel your presence. I feel your will. I feel your way. Yeah. The Holy Spirit itself cleanses all that stuff when I say I'm sorry. Mm. I don't know if you have a gas washing machine or electric washing machine, but you ain't got nothing that can clean like the Holy Spirit. Yes. I don't know. You can be one of those real electric child ones with the whole computer in it. Nothing can clean you like my Savior. Because he knew that we would have issues. So he said, that's all right, baby. When you say yes, my presence will be with you. Thank you, Lord. I will walk with and in you. I will talk with and in you. That you don't have to have a question. Your, your spirit-filled Christian self. The joy you have, the world can't take it because I am with you. So not only does he, he, he put a path for you, and you ain't walking alone because his presence is with you, God gives his pleasures to you. See, see, here it is. Here's something that, that I think that, that we kind of uh, forget sometimes because we look for worldly stuff. And we wonder why our pockets are empty when we're just full of joy. We wonder why we can't go forward. But we can't go forward because God guides us. See, God's pleasures he gives to you. He makes a path for you. Uh, uh, his presence is with you. And his pleasures he gives to you. Have you ever wondered why? All right. That in your lowest times, mm -hmm. there's this little thing that you can't explain uh -huh. that you did not lose your mind. Uh -huh. Have you ever wondered in your deepest dep depression, mm -hmm. wondering how can I make it without them? How can I make it without that? How can I make it through this? It's something that, that, that we take for granted. Yeah, yeah. that's right. The godly pleasures, the godly nuggets, the godly things that he gives to you. Yeah. Yeah. See, I know we celebrate salvation. Thank you, God, for saving me. I know we, we, we celebrate forgiveness. Thank you, God, for forgiving me and all the stuff I've, got, I've done. And, and, and I know we do our best to stay on the path and we feel his presence. Yeah. But let us never forget the pleasures of new graces and new mercies. Yeah. Uh, the pleasure of I will always be there. He, he just gives pleasures to you. We talk about it all the time. He opens the window of heaven and he rains it down. He comes from overflow. He gives his pleasures to you. See, see, God's plans for us include pleasures forevermore. There's a time when there will be no more sin and no more sorrow, no more suffering. And he wants to know that before you get to that time, Yes. That's right. You can get a little bit of in the earth. You can get a bit of this on earth. You can get a little bit of that on earth. Because this is what I do to you. When you hold on, you press on. When you say, I can make it with you, God. When you say, God, for you I live and for you I die. When you say, God, I will love you for this. When you say, God, I'm on a battlefield for you. He will give his pleasures to you. He'll give you that thing you need. He will. Yeah, um, 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 I, I wish. I wish I was like my, my, my brother, Reverend, who can sing. Um, I, the, the way I can say it is, um, and I'll give you these three things again, and then we're going to say this song. Um, as we head into 2023, okay. understand all through 2022, well, there was a path laid for you. Okay. Understand in 2022, you never had that 
walk that path. You don't have to walk that path for long. Right. Because his presence is always with you. Yeah. And when times got real hard, um, and you needed that spark, you needed that, mm, you needed that thing to make it, to, to I wouldn't lose my mind. So if nothing else, I don't look like what I've been through. Uh, uh, he gave you um, this, this gift. He gave you this pleasure to you so you can make it. And, and the songwriter wrote it kind of like this. And, and I know the Lord will make a way. Yes, he will. I know the Lord will make a way. Yes, he will. He will lead me safely through. The Lord will make a way for me. You, uh, I know the Lord will make a way. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Because see, uh, the thing that they finally realized by the time we got to the 16th song, I'm not saying I was perfect. I'm not saying I did perfect stuff. I'm just saying that my God is so awesome. That even when I didn't want to go down the path he laid for me, even though I didn't want to acknowledge the, 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 the presence he had with me, even though uh, I gave the credit to the pleasures he gave to me to something else, he still loved me. And that type of love will get you into 23 old taste and see that he is good in 23. I can be not in 22, but I got a four of path. I got a win. His presence, and I got a two the pleasure to continue to give me. And when I have that, I don't know about you, I can do anything but when I have that, I can find anything better. When I have that, I'm not just a fighter, I'm more than a conqueror. The God I serve will never leave me nor forsake me. When times get hard, and I don't know what's going on, and I feel like the sin of He will carry me. Four with and two. If you get it in 22, He'll do it in 2022. Yeah. 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 We thank you all for all that you've done in 2022. Yeah. We're not going to say we didn't want something to be different, more, but we know it was just the way that you wanted it to be. Because that's the kind of God you are. Yeah. So right now, Lord, as we continue to walk by faith and not by sight, as we continue to stand firm on the, with our back straight, knowing that you are our God, we will look to the hills all year in 2023. Help us, Lord, yes. to smile on 2022. Yes, Help us, Learn the things from it. Yes, Gird up with the things that we need to take forward. Yes. And let go of the things that we don't need to take with us. Yes. Help us, Lord, to understand that you are the one who not only the author but the finisher yes. of everything. Yes. So be with us, Lord. Be with us. As we ask for peace. Be with us, Lord, yes. with our hope. Be with us, Lord, as we have joy in you. Yes. And we have so careful, Lord. As we walk into this new year, walk into the light. Be the all the honor, the glory, and the praise. Here, son, Jesus, may we pray, and the people of God say amen. 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 Hallelujah, amen. amen. Hallelujah. He has plans for us. He made, he made a path for us. You know that path is the right path. If there's someone today that you know you've been on the path, and you know that he is your God, and now you finally want to say yes, Lord. Yes. Not only do I know your son Jesus exists, yes. but he loves me. Yes. If you want to say yes to him for the first time, yes. it's not about membership of the church, it's about relationship with him. Yes. If you yes. want to be saved, whether you're online, you use the chat box, whether you're right here, just come to the altar. Now's the time. The doors of the church are open. <laughs>